You guys, I freaking love my hair. Like, honestly, I've never felt this good, like, in a while. I don't know when the last time I felt, like, this good. But I freaking love my hair. Like, I even feel good without makeup. Anyways, um, today is going to be kind of a beginner-friendly, um, all-drugstore products um, video. Um, this look that I'm going to be doing is my um, everyday... I don't want to get up so early to do my makeup, but I still want to look cute, kind of glam. And my also... Um, I don't want to look too glam, but I still want to look decent type of look. So... That's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Okay guys, so we are going to get started. Um, we only need five products for this look. Um, I'm going to go along and tell you guys what I'm using as we complete this look. But let's just get started. So for the first product, it is going to be foundation. Um, and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in soft beige this is what it looks like you guys um guys this is by far my favorite this foundation that i have ever ever tried and it is only four dollars you guys i do get this from walmart and i have no shame in in it at all <laughs> because this foundation is literally so freaking bomb so for this step this is what i do so I put it underneath my eyes. I went ahead and clipped my hair back because it was getting a little in the way. Okay, so after I put it under my eyes, I put it right here. And I start putting it on all of my spots. So wherever I see myself breaking out, I put it there. And also on my scars and let me tell you that I have plenty of scars you guys so after that this is where you get your beauty blender and um, blend that in And I also put it on my eyes. Once you kind of have that blended in in the areas that you put it, kind of just bring it all together in your face. So kind of just blend that everywhere. So everything looks good and even. My baby's here with me, <laughs> watching me. Um, okay, so after the foundation, we're going to um, bake or use our setting powder, um, and I am and I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 15. Um, this has become my favorite um, shade because I kind of do like more of that bronze look. So um, and it kind of does in it not kind of and it does give me that bronze look. Please, baby, no touchy, touchy. I'm trying to do a video, baby. Okay. <laughs> and I am using the Morphe X Jekyll and Hill JH07. And you guys, I just put that in my little areas because I am going to be going in with a bigger brush in a minute. And then with this brush, you guys, the Morphe X Jekyll and Hill JH01. Um, I always am so messy with this part. But I use this for my bigger part, so I kind of just, but I also just kind of like do it on the part that I already did. So I kind of just go over my face with it. And I do put some on my neck so it matches because this, this does kind of make me a little more bronze. That is two products complete. Now we have... Three more to go. So the next one I am going to be using is Butter Bronzer. I am in, I use 6676. And I use the Morphe X Jekyll and Hill JH02. Oh 
also put it on my nose, you guys. Now, um, my, what product is this? This is my fourth product. This is where um, I put on my blush. The X Jekyll and Hill JH04. This is what it looks like, you guys. Shade Sweet. Bring that out like this. So it blends in with the bronzer that I just used. I love when my nose is super bright <laughs> with the blush. It is my fave. So after the nose, that's when I go in with the sides of, like, right here. I don't know really know what this is called. And I kind of bring it up, like, right here. And just go like this. Blush is kind of used to go everywhere for me. I love, love, love blush. Blush is probably my favorite after lipstick is probably my favorite because I feel like blush for me, it just like completes the whole look. Um, also lipstick, but besides lipstick, blush completes the whole look. So I'm not afraid to go a little crazy with my blush. I do use the blush for one more thing, but um, for now, we are going to go in with our highlight. So I am going to be using uh, the Morphe X Jekyll and Hill JH09. It is the highlighting brush. And I am going to be using the Annette 69X X Beauty Creations Highlight. With blush, I love using highlight because I feel like the highlight kind of brings it all together. So I really like that. The look, it's kind of coming to an end. So, um, now for the eyes, I am going to be using the blush palette again. And I am going to be going in with the color Sweet. The color Unapologetic. And the color Goals. So, these three colors. I am going to be using... The Morphe X Jekyll and Hill JH34. I'm going to be putting that on my eyes. So now I am going to be going in with my mascara. And this look isn't really an eyelash look. Like, um, I wear it with, I, I do this look with eyelashes um, only sometimes. Just depending on if I want it to look a little more like... Um, a little more glam than I will put on some lashes, but I don't normally. I really, really wish I knew the name of these eyelashes, you guys, but I don't. Um, I know I did get them from Ulta, and that's all I could tell you. <laughs> and um, they are, um, um, they come in a black box. Well, like, the, they come in a clear box, but um, I, don't, I can't even explain to you guys. But... Um, they are very, very simple, and that's why I do use them for this look. I don't use my dramatic eyelashes um, or my more long eyelashes for this look. I use these because um, it's super simple, and I feel like it looks and it goes very good. So I'm just waiting till these dry. Okay guys, so that completes the look for today's video. I did do my lips off camera because um, I don't know the name of the lipstick that I use, so, and I felt bad, so I didn't want to do it on camera, but um, I don't know the name of the lip liner, but I do know the name of the lipstick that I put on top of it, so I did use the Morphe. Um, matte lipstick in virgin and this is what it looks like you guys it is such a beautiful color and this combo together is everything this um completes today's video i hope i hope i hope you guys liked it like i said this look is for kind of like a everyday um you don't want to get too glam but you still want to look good type of look well let me know if you guys try this look it is super simple it is super um 
the the products that I use aren't ex so expensive like it's not gonna break your bank you guys I promise um but yeah this is kind of like my go-to um, look when I'm too tired to get up or I'm too lazy to do a super crazy glam but I still want to look good you know if you did like it like it if you want to watch more videos with me then subscribe like I said I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in the next video